hello guys so we are seeing uh, uh, IAS tutorial IAS is nothing but internet information service that is used to host our web application uh, to our site so uh, we already discussed how to host the application uh, uh, in a default website under the default uh, uh, default means uh, it's a local host under that we created the sub application like uh, uh, go free uh, free launcher and we use like this in the default so today we're going to uh, do some different uh, logics see i i have some uh, uh, test domain that i planning to use it suppose i want to i don't have a really a go freelancer.com but i want to use that domain as uh, as in a locally uh, to configure and use it so how to use it so i want to configure a, a host name header in ias that is what the today's uh, topics we're going to discuss so uh, let's go under add a website from the site uh, not a default uh, add a website so here i give uh, my site as uh, anything like a free uh, launcher okay so go freelancer and the physical path go and select uh, your application path so my application path is uh, here under this web uh, application so give any name that you prefer I going to give the name called freelancer dot com okay so this freelancer dot com I don't have really now but uh, uh, this I going to confer in my locally with the uh, okay just copy paste what the name I'm giving copy okay so now my site is ready actually but if I uh, go and browse it so this will be pointed to the main domain that already exists uh, in this uh, in the server the remote server so but I don't want but I want uh, uh, to point out to my uh, local so how to do that one it's very simple you can uh, go to the Windows system to driver CTC under that uh, you can go and edit the host file so in the host file you can configure this by using 127 okay it is a uh, 127.0.0.1 .0 .0 so this will point my local so here I am just adding uh, my go freelancer so uh, initially it will go on the hit so it's asking for admin privilege let's uh, take this and save it so uh, so now my go freelancer is uh, configured locally uh, okay so now it is uh, done uh, okay restart and go to a run command we'll check whether it is a it's pointing to my local system paste that uh, oops uh, it's uh, not really I guess uh, we'll check what is the issue okay just to restart browse okay it's actual domain it's pointing so uh, let's give a uh, try with uh, some name called uh, local dot dev okay copy save it so this domain is not uh, really exist uh, from the server so let's go and add uh, this uh, to our uh, configuration go to that bindings on change uh, okay you can browse it okay uh, okay f so finally I conferred like this a uh, local dot uh, dev dot because the go freelancer it's a uh, preference it said to the remote server because I'm just using the things so if uh, I am not connected the uh, internet uh, obviously it will hit my host file first and it will get executed so that is what the issue so uh, local do, uh, sla uh, underscore dev dot com is not there in a remote so that's pointing me the application so this is the way you can go and 
um, configure the host uh, header uh, in a IAS and you can access locally by uh, using this uh, local dot uh, slash dev dot com if you go and uh, ping this one let's go and uh, ping that okay uh, remotely it won't uh, so that's what I uh, see there is a no such IP for this local uh, slash dev dot com so that is what it's uh, my host file is get uh, uh, heated and it's uh, executed uh, so hi so this is a way to configure the host header thanks for watching the video guys please subscribe our channel to get more updates